Hey, what's going on, guys? Gaz here, and welcome to my Apatol Teak Wood Cutting Guide. Requirements to carry out this method are level 35 wood cutting. You must have started or completed the Monkey Madness quest. You must have completed the Deadliest Catch quest so you can access the bank deposit chests on the beach. And you must also have a Monkey Grigory of some kind. I recommend the Ninja or the normal uh, Karamjan Monkey one. Here are the optional items for this method. Now you don't need all of these, however the more of them you have the better. The Inferno adds increases the XP per hour because it burns 33% of the logs which you cut. The wood cutting urns increase your XP per hour because you can fill them up and they teleport away for a nice 1.9k XP I think it is. The Juju wood cutting potions help to bank the uh, teak logs for you which you'll be cutting and this definitely increases the XP per hour for you. The beaver pouches give a plus 2 wood cutting boost so they do help increase the amount of logs you can cut slightly. Now the strung rabbit's foot doesn't actually increase the XP at all, it just increases the chance of a bird's nest drop and this is always useful, especially considering we're right next to a bank, uh, the extra money really doesn't hurt at all, especially as it goes around your neck. And the lumberjack clothing is also recommended if you have it, however don't go out of your way to get it because it takes a very long time, but it does provide that 2.5% XP boost when you do cut the logs. And the highest tier possible lumberjack Aura which you own, but as a, again I wouldn't go out of your way just to um, spend your loyalty points on wood cutting because there are probably better things you could spend those on. Okay guys, so here's a picture of the gear I'm going to be using. As you can see I've got my Juju wood cutting potions in flasks there, which means that I have 12 doses there, which is what I recommend because that will last me for an hour of wood cutting because each dose lasts about 5 minutes. Um, if you don't want to buy the flasks, you can just put them in the normal potions if you'd like, it is a lot cheaper. However, I like the extra space for the teak logs. Um, I recommend bringing 10 to 12 uh, wood cutting urns. Um, I would recommend bringing less wood cutting urns if you don't have the Inferno adds and the Juju wood cutting potion combined because that does get rid of a lot of the logs for you. Um, I also recommend bringing two beaver pouches and don't forget to take your Grigri with you as well. This does stop the monsters attacking you on the island and you can still wood cut while you're in monkey form. And I just really wanted to prove before we get into the guide that this method is over 100k wood cutting XP per hour. As you can see, there's a picture on screen with me now with a 30 minute timer, and I've achieved 50,991 wood cutting XP. And obviously, if you times that 30 minutes by two, you're looking at about 102k XP per hour. And that was just on one test, it could be higher, it could be slightly less. Okay, then, guys, so once you're geared and ready to go and start your wood cutting teeps, you have two options to get to Apatol. The first option is to use the Apatol Teleport, which requires the completion of the Monkey Madness quest. It takes two fires, two waters, two laws and a banana to uh, cast the teleport. Um, you will also need your Monkey Grigri to run through Apatol without getting attacked, but you need to take that anyway. But that's not the method I like using. What I like doing, because I don't um, have bananas in my bank funnily enough, and they can be quite annoying to get hold of, is I like to teleport to El Grid and take the Gnome Glider there. And you can take the glider to the top of the Grand Tree. It does require the Grand Tree quest, I do believe. And you can take this to the top of the Grand Tree. You can then travel with Wader, which you will know um, if you have completed the Monkey Madness quest. And then he will take you to Crash Island, and you can then sail from Crash Island onto Hypertop. So uh, get the glider with Captain Dalba. He'll take us to the top of the Grand Tree. Then we'll go down the ladder. Down the ladder again, so you go down two layers, and then you want to travel with um, oh, I forgot his name, the guy in the quest, Dario. That's the one. You want to travel with Dario? Would you like to go back to Abitol? Yes. We'll blindfold you, and we'll take us back to the uh, airbase, what you want to call it, and travel, uh, travel to Crash Island, and then get the boat to Abitol. Now this may seem quite like quite a lengthy process, however once you, if you use the teleport to Apertol uh, spell, it actually takes you to the other side of Apertol, the side we don't want to be at. So this does actually work out probably the same speed if not quicker. Anyway, once you get here you want to weld your Grigri straight away so you don't get attacked by any snakes, and you want to run along the south coast of the island. And once you run along the south coast for a little bit, you will arrive at these teaks here. You can see there's three teaks here. One, two, three, and our deposit chest from the deadliest catch quest is just there. 
Um, you want to stay in monkey form the whole time while you're woodcutting. And basically, all it consists of now is just woodcutting them and banking them in the chest. Now, uh, a couple of quick tips. You want to stand in between these two dogs here. They respawn quickly. However, if you do cut them both down extremely quickly, then you can move across to this one. Um, but other than that, I think that's about everything. So what you want to do is the first thing you want to do is to summon your beaver pouch. Drink a dose of Juju Woodcutting Potion if you have it. Activate your Eora, you'll see the little animation got there. You can never a monkey, and then you can just start to cut. And as you can see, my XP here will be nice. So as you can see, um, with my Juju Woodcutting, um, my Juju Woodcutting, with my uh, Lumberjack outfit, I'm getting 2.1% XP bonus per log here. You can see my Juju Woodcutting Potion has gone straight into effect. And I am now woodcutting without getting any of my inventory, which is nice. Now while you are woodcutting these ticks, there is the chance that you'll get a, what's called a special teak log and what that basically is is the same as a normal teak log it's stripey um, and it won't have the craft or the light option now all this is is bankable it's not tradable and all this is is you can sell them to the sawmill operator for 1.3k each or you can exchange two of them for a free conversion of teak logs in your inventory and to convert them into teak planks and this means that you can convert up to 26 planks in the inventory for free. So the chances are while I am woodcutting this um, this inventory here that I might get one. Uh, I'm not sure what the drop rate of them is. However, um, they're, I'd say about 1 in 20 from my experience. Uh, maybe about 1 in 25. And basically, you can bank those. They're absolutely fine. And you can collect them up. You can either sell them or you can... Um, use them for the teak log conversion, which is probably something that I will do. Um, however, all this basically consists of is continuing to woodcut here. Um, you are just basically, you know, it is woodcutting at the end of the day, it's not fun. Um, this is all we are going to be doing for the whole hour, is just cutting. Um, keep in check on how your irons are doing down here. I recommend having the game on filter and clicked. Uh, the main thing you're looking out for here is when you're woodcutting. Juju woodcutting potion is going to expire because you don't want that to be running out. Um, as you can see, there I've got birds and stuff already. Um, let's see what's inside. Willow seeds, don't want that. So you can just drop that. Now it's a good idea to keep the nest, even though we are in the middle of nowhere. We do have a bank over there, so I can just pop that nest in the bank, and that's 8k right there. Once crushed, of course. So I'm just going to show you guys how to um, how to bank. It, obviously, it's pretty self explanatory. You just put a deposit as you would a normal bank deposit box. Um, however, to save um, screen spinning, what I do recommend doing is uh, when you do click on the bank chest, is to start spinning your screen as soon as you've clicked it, and then you can spin it back around um, while you're running over there. And then as soon as you've banked, you can actually see over the top if you play on resize all that is. Just click back on the ticks. I'll show you that in a minute. As you can see, my Inferno ads and my Juju Woodcutting Potion are doing me justice here. I haven't even had to bank yet, and I've been here for a good couple of minutes now. As you can see, I'm about to need to bank, so I'll click bank. Now turn your screen all the way around so you can see the teaks. And then bank all the teaks, and if you can see, you can just click up here, and then come back on the teak. And that's the quickest way to bank. But it's all little things like that that increase your XP per hour. Now obviously I didn't bank the bird's nest there, but that's just because I forgot I forgot to add that, so I'll just do that next inventory, no problem. Um, other than that guys, that is literally all there is to it. Now, um, this is a very close contender with the Arctic Pines woodcutting XP. Um, I do have a guide for that as well, and that will be popping up on screen now. And that is about the same XP as these. Um, however, um, it does, you do not get anything from it. Now, teak logs, you do get, but we are woodcutting here of course, and we are getting a few logs from it. And these logs are worth something. Uh, they're about 54 each I believe. 59 each, okay, so maybe they've gone up since the last check. So uh, we are getting a little bit of money from these. You're probably looking at cutting about 1.5k logs per hour. So you're looking at about 70k GP. Doesn't hurt, especially considering that we're getting probably the best possible woodcut and XP in the game we could be getting as well. Um, Arctic Pines are the same XP, um, and they probably are a little bit less clicking. Um, however, I do prefer these because you get these teaks, you get the special teaks. And these are always empty, there's no one ever here. Um, Arctic Pines, you do sometimes have people there. 
and also if you do want to get the best XP at the Arctic Pines you do kind of have to use mouse keys and you do have to put in a lot of effort spam drop in the Arctic Pines these it's banking them it's nice and easy uh, it's pretty relaxed even though there's quite a lot of clicking because the teaks do come down pretty quick but I enjoy it that's how I'm going to be getting mine on an onward cutting um, and I'm going to probably make a couple of mil from it as well with the teaks which I can then transfer into for uh, for free into planks well not all of them for free but a lot of them are for free because of these special teak logs um, so what I'm going to do now guys is I'm just going to uh, speed up this clip now until I get a special teak log so I can show you guys and I'm going to end the guide there Okay guys, so uh, I've been pretty unlucky here to be honest, it doesn't seem like I'm going to get a special log. Um, I even stopped drinking my woodcutting potion to hope that it wouldn't bank it, but still not getting one, so I'm just going to go to the bank to show you guys one. Um, as I said, the uh, woodcutting potion does uh, bank those logs, so the chances are I did get one um, in one of those uh, juju log teleports. However, I'm getting trolled pretty bad there by Jadex, and they're not giving me one. But I'll just go to the bank and show you one. But anyway, that's basically what you guys want to be doing. Um, as you can see, um, pretty repetitive, but it is very good with current XP. Um, and just one last quick tip on when using your urns, you want to use an urn just before you click the bank. Because you're a monkey, there's no animation for teleporting the urn away, so you can do it pretty quickly as you're running to the bank. Anyway, I'm going to go in my bank here and I'm going to get out one of these special teak logs just to show you guys what I'm talking about. Get out ten of them. Look, here they are. It's just called a special teak log. It only has the destroy option, it's not tradable, um, basically all that entitles you to is two of them entitle you to a free teak log inventory transfer into planks or you can sell them for 1.3k each. Other than that guys, that's about everything in that guide. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and if there's any questions you have please post them in the comments, I'll answer all of them. Um, if you don't like the look of this and want to check out my Arctic Pines guide, please feel free, that will be in the description. Other than that guys, Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.